Hey guys, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Last time I talked about something that I should probably make a correction on because not even I knew about it. So I talked about the infinite bolts, uh, quote unquote glitch. I mean, it's an exploit. I don't really know what the hell it is. Either way, something I completely forgot to talk about was when we had gotten there and uh, there were no, like, uh, what's it called, boxes in the correct area. I didn't know that the box glitch is actually just a one-time thing. If you do it once and then go away, the boxes actually despawn forever. So there's no way to actually get them back. So I was able to do it on a, on a separate set of boxes in the ring. It was just a lot slower. So yeah, um, correction from last episode, you can only do that once. So make sure you get all the bolts that you're ever going to need in that one singular run of the glitch. But either way, I do have... 361,000 oh, bolts, so yeah, it's not like you can't do it on separate bolts and stuff like that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, make sure you do it on the big one for the first time around, but either way, That's now that we have 361,268, <laughs> which is a fuck ton, we can buy the rest of fucking everything ever again, so we never have to worry about capitalism, which is just great! Anyway, bye... And then I'm going to exit so I can see the animation. Wow, I have a hand. Hands are really no good. I should buy the walloper. You need to buy every weapon. Now I've got a fist. Oh, he looks so happy he's going to fucking fist us. Anyway, the walloper is kind of weird because it takes no ammo and is pretty much just like a... I don't know, it's a different kind of uh, wrench, I would say. It's like a different directional wrench. And then, uh, I don't have anything else on my wheel. Should probably mess with my quick select a little bit. Let's see, where's the mine glove? Where is it? There it is. I don't actually, I've never used this one before. So, I think what it does is it makes little mines on the ground and people can walk into them. And then they'll just kind of fly towards enemies. At least, that's my knowledge. Anyway, I see a gold bolt up there and I actually tried with an SI. You can actually get up here with an SI. <laughs> the game, you're not supposed to be able to do this. Also, I think there's an invisible wall up there. Don't worry, I'll try and get up again. Oh shit, there is some kind of invisible wall up there. They don't want me getting up there yet. I'll get up there somehow, game. I was able to pull off the SI like five seconds ago. Believe in the dream, I want the gold bolt. I don't really know why I want it, or why I want to get it this way, but it's like, it's the only way, dude. It's the only way. Come on. Ah, fuck you, game. Come on. I just want to see if I can actually get up there. Come on. Come on, I can do this. That's not a long, that's not a high jump. I need a high jump. I need to get high. I found that it's like, it works sort of well over here. Yeah, it's just glitching me off. Either way, there's a... If you can actually pull that off, you can get up there. Either way... Oh, boy. We made it to the gas bar last time, so, you know... We gotta get through it. Let's see what we got over here. We've got some cool weapons. Uh, the sad thing is that, like, I still have, like, little to no health. But, you know, I've got a fuck ton of money, so, you know, who needs to have health when you've got health care? Who needs to give a shit about having health? Oh, God. These enemies are fucking insane. <laughs> They're fucking insane. Okay, I need to kill. Which means I need to jump over all of them as I go towards their pit of doom. No bad random enemy that's shooting me in the balls. No, I gotta get into the turret. Get into the turret and kill all of them. Okay, can we... Can we do that? What the fuck is going on? Okay. Okay, it's just walking into them. It's not actually, uh... It's not like you actually need to press a button to get into it. You just walk into it. It fucked me up for a second. Well, I fucked them all up, so... I want their money. Either way, we didn't get all that far. Here on Gaspar, just due to the fact that I was, like, right at the end of the video, and then just, you know, was already kind of tired as shit last time we played. We played. You know, this time around... We're going to kick some ass, even though I don't think we're going to kick some ass, but we're going to try. Oh, no. I forgot about these things. I forgot about these things. God damn. 
These guys are kind of weird because they actually, like, get really close to you. And if you don't hit the wrench against them, they're going to, like, attach to you. And you're pretty much going to be fucked. So, yeah, those guys are not fun to deal with. I guess I can keep them away a little bit using the, uh, the spinning trick, but, uh, that did not work. God damn. Okay, maybe don't go down the right path. The right path seems to be, you know, a little bit bullshit. Maybe we'll go down the left path. And then we just spin in circles so we run away these stupid bug guys. No, bad, bad ninja. Bad ninja man. Bad ninja from Fortnite. Die. <laughs> bad ninja. Alright. Anyway, let's keep moving on. I'm not going to go down the left path right now. That seems to be way too bullshit for me. But yeah, using this, like, massive amount of bolts, we can actually, you know, we can buy every single weapon that exists in the game, which is great. Uh, I guess I can't go that way. Sheet. See, can I go this way? I can't walk on lava. Okay, so they're literally forcing me to go down the way with the mines, which is just great. I totally don't want to die. Maybe I can shoot them from afar. Come on, die. They dead? Hope so. I don't want to deal with their shit. Come on. Triangle to get out, but it's still doesn't work the correct way. Hey, how you doing? My name's Whizzle Cheeks. <laughs> I don't know why I've been saying that joke recently. I just really want to be called that. Okay, so if you shoot them for long enough, they'll actually fuck off. But it's like, you have to get kind of lucky with it. You gotta get lucky with it. Let's see. Yeah, there's like a certain distance at which you can't shoot them, which is really bullshit. No, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> you can fuck off too. Both of you. Everybody can fuck off now. It's the new show. Fuck yourself. Made by me. I don't know why I made it, but I did. <laughs> when you miss the fucking long jump. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the long jump. And the high jump being on the same exact button. Gotta love that you have no invincibility time between shots. So you're just like, uh, <laughs> and then you're just crying the entire time. Why the fuck do I gotta deal with you? Let's see, maybe the walloper actually would be more useful. But yeah, for now, uh, the plan is to get through Gaspar and deal with some shit. When I was actually playing this, like, uh, while, like, you know, trying to get the, uh, the bolts and stuff, for some reason, I thought the controls were the exact same as Ape Escape, so I kept on trying to, like, reset the camera with L1, and, uh, you know, it kind of works, but that's not how this game is played. You actually have a right stick in this game to actually do shit with. I've just been, you know, playing somewhat a little bit of Ape Escape, so it's like, my brain no longer thinks that that's the case. think that that's the case, and I also, I am very tired right now, because I just woke up, so it's like, you know... <laughs> I don't... My brain's not working the correct way. I'm not making the correct commentary. Oh, God. I am... I am very dead. I have, like, little to no health. And I'm just, like, walking around being like, this is all okay. I'm going to die soon. But, you know, I am... I'm, I'm sort of alright with that. Anyway, can there be, like, a checkpoint here soon? I'm... I'm, like, dying. Ratchet looks like he's, like, gotten his dick jerked way too much recently. Just punch them in the face! If I punch them in the face enough, maybe I'll survive. Okay, this kind of works. <laughs> this kind of works. Damn, all of the grenades died. Why are they grenades? I don't know. I just like the word grenade. Maybe it's that I'm too much into grenade. Just like some kind of additive to like fucking alcohol. I must go there and blow up all the tanks. There are quite a few tanks. No! And I also can't blow up the tanks. Fuck you! Mm. I should probably reset my uh, my quick select wheel. So it actually looks kind of cool and has like weapons that I like on it. Versus weapons that I don't give a single shit about. The taunter is literally useless after doing that one trick. So I'm not going to use it ever again. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. Um... Yeah, I think that's a pretty good that's a pretty good scroll wheel. Um, see, I'd love to actually use the detonator the detonator what the devastator correctly. Oh god, they can shoot me! Oh my god, they can 
shoot me. Oh my god, the lag. Got one. Got the other, and now I just need to get these guys to come out of their fucking hole. You can come out of the hole now. No, no, bad. Bad boys. Could you stop trying to shoot me? I'm your dad. Fuck. You know, you have to press the button to make it come out. Like, to make the gun come out. Man, I wish there was a way to fucking strafe. Because it's like, I can't fucking... I can't aim correctly. This is more of a platformer than it is, like, a shooter. But it's like, when you've got, like, big gun elements and stuff like that, I need to actually be able to, you know, quickly dodge away. Strafing is, like, a big part of any kind of video game anyway. So, you know, due to the fact that you're not letting me strafe... I'm going to die. But then again, I'm not dead. Also, I'm still feeling a little bit sicky, so that's kind of, kind of no good. Dude, can we use the Devastator to hit these guys? One. Yeah, it's like a long-range weapon, so I can go ahead and just wipe out enemies from really far away, which is extremely helpful because you know I'm on two fucking health. Oh shit! Ah oh, shit! Ah oh, shit! Get in the grenade. This is a grenade too now. This is actually a turret, but whatever. These are grenades as well. Everything is. Everything is. Mostly when you're really scared, everything is anything else. There we go. I have killed technology. Which is exactly what I set out to do when I was born. Destroy technology. Why? I don't know. Either way, I killed all of them. <laughs> what are we doing here again? We're getting, like, a fucking helmet. Wasn't that, like, the goal? Like, this place has a helmet that, like, you know, Ratchet's really into. <laughs> and Clank doesn't give a single shit about, but he wants to go here anyway. Ooh, it's where the cutscene happened. Man, I love it. I love going to where the cutscene happened. It is kind of cool in video games when you get to do that. Just, like, when a cutscene actually happens in a map, you're like, wow, I actually went to the place. I mean, then again, nobody's here, but, like, you know, it's cool anyway. Anyway, Walloper time. Walloper time! There we go. The Walloper... You know, I'm glad I bought that. I'm glad I had enough money to buy that shit, because without it, those fucking mines would be the bane of my existence. Ooh. It's just... sitting here. Menacingly! <laughs> now this is cool. Um... And they make you wear it. Okay. You know, I kind of liked it when Ratchet didn't have a hat. He looks kind of dumb with a hat. You know, he's a furry. You gotta, you gotta see his furry face. Anyway, I don't know if there's actually anything left here on Gas Bar for us to do. Um, let me see. View missions. That was it? So Gas Bar is literally just like a... Like a singular little route. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool. It is like, you know, Drex development plant. But it's like, man, I thought there would be at least somewhat more of something to do here. But nope. That's it. <laughs> it's just like a little platforming arena until you're done. Well, either way, I got through it. So, whatever. I don't actually... How do you get up to that now? You know, I don't... No, that, that, that's a conundrum. That is that is a pure conundrum, as you may say. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to have to check out, like, a different planet. Let me see. Um, Battalia, we can't progress. Umbrus, I guess we should just... Oh, wait, we can go to Iridia. I forgot about that. We can bring the the stupid... Uh, what is it called? Not even a trophy. It's the Zoomerator over to the uh, Skid's agent. And then, therefore we can actually progress. Or at least he'll give us something cool, I guess. Theoretically. Oh, God, my throat. I do not like it when I have a throat. It is no good. Just like going back to uh, Nevada. <laughs> this is literally just Nevada. And it's no good. Anyway, we need to get all the way back over to Skid's agent. But I think we can just use this teleporter. Yes, very good, very good. I don't know why, uh, you know, Skid's agent couldn't just, like, use this to get back home. Whatever. Also, there was a glowing thing over there, and I, either that's a gold bolt or that's an item. I don't know. Fantastic, you got it! Great work, kid. So, are you gonna represent me? You bet, kid. And as a signing bonus, I've got... 
this. What is that? Cool helmet. That is a sonic summoner. It is used to attract sand mice. Right, then it's all yours. <laughs> well, I'm off to finalize the paperwork. <laughs> I'll have my people call your people. Do you have people? The Sonic Summoner <laughs> allows you to interact with the mysterious and intelligent sand mice species. Despite their innocent appearance, sand mice are very effective and aggressive hunters. Simply equip the Sonic Summoner when you are near a sand mouse house and a mouse will emerge to greet you. If the mouse likes you, it may offer a bit of high caliber tactical assistance. Why do we get like a video tutorial of what this thing does? We've never had that in the entire game. Okay then, I guess they just, they really wanted to tell us that. I mean, there's literally nothing else to do here on Aridia, so... Great to see that we have the sound mice thingamajig, but uh, it's literally fucking useless. So, uh, unless another planet has these goddamn weirdos, uh, there is no use for it, so... Yeah, if there was actually a point in having that thing, um... Uh, I don't think there is much of a point anymore. Alright then, well, we got everything done on Aridia. I just need to see where the fuck we're going now. Like, what, what's the next thing? What's the score? What's next? Head items. Man, I love head items. That's a, that's a good way to describe your life. Okay, I think we're done with... I guess I should just go through every single level. Navalis has everything done. Kurwan has everything done. Aridia has everything done. Yodora has everything done. Nebula G34 has everything done. Rilgar has everything done. Umbris has everything done. Batalia still needs me to go there. Gaspar has everything done. Do I have the stuff to actually go here? What am I missing? Feels like I'm missing something. Like there's a planet I should go to. But, like, there is no planet I should go to. The only one that has an option is Battalia. And I'm like, uh, that doesn't seem like it's going to help me progress at all. Like, I have the pilot's helmet. What does that let me do? <laughs> now I'm confused. Where do I go now? I'm like, uh, I don't know. Ugh. I'm like, Ugh. something. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. That's all I gotta say. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm like, uh, trying to see how I can get to like the next planet and shit like that. Sometimes you need a guide. Hmm. You know, IGN seems to be loading games very slowly. It's probably because I'm rendering a video at the same time as I'm recording. It's not always the best idea, but we're going for it anyway, because go fuck yourself. You get to stare at, like, whatever the fuck's going on in Battalia still. Things are happening. Don't know why, but they are. So let me see. Um, I'm just looking up a guide, because at this point I'm kind of lost. I'm like, I've been to every planet, so it's like, uh, do I just do? Because I don't have the thing that's going to let us progress here, so it's like, um, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hmm. I'm trying to see what the hell I need to do. Um, they're just like... I have no clue. They're just giving me a weird-ass tutorial on how to get through shit. Grab the pilot's helmet, and that was it. Okay. Well, I'm confused. I don't know how to get to that planet. Okay. Um... I need to figure out how to progress on Battalia, I guess. Um, let's see. They're talking about rails and shit like that. Um, let's see. There's a mouse house near where we spawn, so we can actually use the Sonic Summoner. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, 
Let's see. Uh... How the fuck do I progress? I need to figure that out. So, these are not useful. That's not what I need in my foot items. Um, okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I wonder if the glitch fucked me up. <laughs> it could, because... Apparently the uh the what is it called? The info bot that we got from the uh the general guy should have given us coordinates to another planet. We don't have that info bot because the game glitched. Oh god, am I like stuck in like a death state at this point? Where like I've soft locked myself? Have I soft locked my entire game due to the fact that I cannot get that info bot anymore? Because I can't talk to that guy anymore? Oh god, I think I might have softlocked myself by complete accident. Oh god, I mean, the only chance I have left is to go back there and hope that the info bot is still there. But I think I checked last time, and it wasn't. So it's like, what do I do? Uh, Walloper's pretty good at killing this shit. I mean, the only theory I would have left is that I need to redo the entire game up to this point and then get the info bot back which is you know a big ask for me to redo almost the entire game i would i would hope not i mean i can try and go see if he's still up there it's still a possibility that he's still there and like i can progress theoretically oh my god if only i could actually get over there that could be a problem I mean, I could hope that he's still there. I think I checked right when that game crash happened a couple episodes ago. And, like, it didn't... It, he wasn't there no more. So it's like, uh, that could be a big problem. God. There we go. But yeah, if he's not there anymore, then we got ourselves a really big problem in the fact that we cannot progress. All because I crashed during that one cutscene. And I have actually absolutely no idea why we crashed. The game and Drek, Drek had a plan. Drek was like, if I destroy the video game, then Frozen cannot come and destroy my plans. It's like, you're completely correct, Chairman Drek. You've destroyed me. Anyway, um, I need to blow up this tank. God damn. Leave me alone, Tank Man. Tank Man Jones. God damn. Come on. There we go. His top half's dead, at least. Um, okay. I'm just gonna wall up the bottom half. There we go. But yeah, if he's not over there, I'm, I'm like, soft-locked. I've soft-locked soft my progression. Because it's like, if I can't get any further, this game is usually very linear. So, like, <laughs> when I get to the one point where the game literally breaks on me, yeah, I'm gonna be very confused on how to progress. You guys, like, fuck the fuck off. There we go. Just need to get rid of him. Okay. But yeah, if we're literally soft locked, it's like, uh, what do you want me to do now? Get rid of that guy. I need to get rid of the tank. Come on. You're gonna die. At some point. There we go. I have one health, but you know. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it be like one health man. Alright, is there any kind of health upgrades over here that I can use to at least get over where I need to go? I mean, these bolt cranks are like not complete. So it gives me the impression that there is at least a singular chance for me to still progress. Because if these are still open, that means that I've still got a chance to the fact that maybe the game did not save my progression when I got up there. But then again, it does worry me due to the fact that, like, what if that cutscene crashes me again? I don't know, man. It is worrying. It is worrying. 
is due to the fact that what if I get over there, he's not there. Does that mean I have to complete the entire game up to this point again? And just hope it doesn't crash this time? Like, that is... That's not good. That's not... That's not <laughs> that is bad mental headspace. Let's see. Um, let's just see if he's over there. If he's over there, then that means that I could possibly progress still. Oh, he's still there. Okay, well, then that means that the game did crash. But didn't let me... But still let me progress. Which means we can still see that cutscene that I had actually shown just by using, like, uh, what is it called? Uh, by using YouTube and all that. Blast that thing, it won't budge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. And nuclear weaponry didn't work. I actually shoved it up my ass instead. Well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha. That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. I should probably just For skip that, this cutscene cut since we already seen it. I intercepted this if it gives me the ability to, useful. it doesn't seem like it does. Take it. Skip I'm it, please. It's gonna crash. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planet okay, will did crash this time. With Thank all God. We need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. You know, I don't now know why it crashed the first time. why we must stop him. He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. You will need a pair of Gadgetron Magna Boots to traverse this ventilation shaft. Unfortunately, our scanners do not detect any Magna Boots on this planet. Yeah, so therefore I can't go that way. But thank God we didn't get uh, softlocked. Insomniac actually thought about that idea that, you know, the game doesn't save your progress until after you view the info bot. Which is nice, because that means that, you know, I'm not going to lose progress. Fuck yeah. And I don't have to restart from the very beginning, so... Either way, that then unlocks the plan of Orksaw, and so we should probably go there. But yeah, I don't know why it didn't crash the second time around. Maybe I just left the game on for too long that one time, but, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that would do anything, but still. Don't know, let's just see what happens. Sometimes there are anomalies in life, and sometimes you don't know how to speak because you're literally brain dead right now. You can't say the word anomaly, because <laughs> you're just that stupid. You big stupid. <laughs> Warning, O2 mask required for organic, organic what? Organic life forms. So yeah, like in the cutscene said, Drek said that the entire planet has been polluted to like fucking kingdom come. So therefore, you know, nobody can actually set foot on the planet except for robots because they don't have to breathe oxygen. Breathe? Damn. I'm having a real, real hard time today with English. It's a hard one, I tell ya. It's more like just that I'm, like, brain dead and all that, but... You know, I think it's because the language is trying to kill me. Either way, I cannot even open up the uh, Gadgetron fucking vendor, so it's... You know, therefore, I just gotta do shit. I can't get over there. Well, fuck. But yeah, there are two ways to go on this planet, but for now, since Clank's the only one that can actually walk on the planet, uh, we can only do Clank's path. But yeah, it is kind of cool that this game does kind of like think about that before it just sends you into like a poisonous planet. You actually have to, you know, think before you go in there. And Well, they thought about it in the way that like, you know, what if we used Clank instead of Ratchet? So it is kind of cool that they actually had some forward thinking about that. It's like, 
Not just that, like, they showed us a cutscene where the entire planet is poisonous. And now, like, you know, let's just go there anyway. So, that's kind of interesting. They can't jump or climb. That's weird. But yeah, I like that kind of forward thinking. I don't think any other game in the series ever really thinks about it like that. So it's like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, how do I... Oh yeah, I forgot. They actually have to fucking follow me. Come on, Gadgetbot. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's keep a move on, everybody. We gotta keep going. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the, uh, you know, gadget bots in general, so, you know, this is still really stupid, and I do not like it. I don't like it. But yeah, I do enjoy how forward-thinking this game was, and the fact that, like, you know, you're gonna have to, like, explain a way for how we can actually get onto the, uh, the world without it being, like, you know, not making any sense. Go attack him, fuckers. Good job, fuckers. <laughs> Good job. But yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Even though, you know, clank sections are not fun whatsoever, I still like that an in-world universe, an in-universe in is what I'm trying to say, uh, explanation for why we're forced to play as clank actually exists. Or there's actually, you know, a tangible reason for why we can't play as Ratchet. So yeah. Or, like, the lore of the planet actually gets addressed within the gameplay of the game. There's so many different reasons, but it is cool. Even though I do not like this little fuck one bit. So it's like, yeah. Oh, boy. But I need to get as many gadgetpots as I can to fight this one fucking crab that, for some reason, like, Clank cannot fight. He is very adverse against crabs. So he must kill. Also, it's kind of weird that, like... Clank also uses nanotech as his health source, because he's like a robot. So it's like, if he were to get damaged, he would just need to be repaired by Ratchet or whoever. So it's like, it's kind of odd in that way. Anyway, I need to kill more people. I need to kill more people by using these thingamajigs. I forget that you have to actually punch them to like make them want to be your friend. You must kill. I will kill you for myself. <laughs> I'm just a fucking hideous murderer. And you know, I am A-OK -okay with that, like 100% of the time. Now I need to figure out how to get you guys up there. Oh, there's a ramp. <laughs> Look, there's a ramp. Let's see. Oh, I need to get the six of you up there. Okay, well, I can still get you to go kill that fucking crab, though. I don't like crabs. That's why Mr. Krabs died. A ketamine addiction. Why does that have to be a joke? It's not even all that funny of a joke. <laughs> the ketamine addiction shit is not funny. I've never felt that it was a funny joke. So it's like, I don't know why I, I say it. I think the funnier joke is the fucking, oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I always found that that was a lot funnier. But then again, that's probably because I'm more brain dead. Everybody get up there, and then I'm going to go up there as well. All right, everybody, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and then I got to keep doing this. This is not hard. It's not like it's complicated. It's just dumb. <laughs> it's just dumb. Why can't you guys jump? Why can't, like, Clank just fucking grab you? Oh, God. I exploded and died. You know, there's not much of a reason to actually want to, uh... What's it called? Get, like, bolts anymore due to the fact that I have so many bolts it doesn't matter. But it's like, still. <laughs> it's like, I need to break the boxes. I have a fucking adverse addiction to breaking them. I need to break the souls of my enemies. Like boxes, I guess. <laughs> I must break the souls of my enemies like they were boxes. How the fuck am I supposed to progress? Okay, um... Stay. There we go. And then... Follow. There we go. I mean, it is kind of fun using these guys, but it's like... Uh... I'm like, uh, I, I guess so. It's not like a, man, I love using the gadget bots. It's more like a, uh, the gadget bots exist. Go in. I'm like, go in, stupid idiots. Come on, let's go. Get into the, yeah, get into the vortex. <laughs> and then we're going to follow, and then, uh, what is, 
look, it's a cutscene of the video game up there. <laughs> it's just pictures of the world. Look, there's a picture of the station. There's a picture of Gaspar on there. It's, it's not even like a drawn picture. It's just like, you know, I, I created this because I felt that it was very artistic. Explode. There we go. Are they going to come through? Come on, guys. Let's go. We only have four of you. And then there's the fifth one. And then I need one more. So I don't know where the fuck the rest of them are. Come on, guys. Let's go. Into the vortex of doom. Goddamn, my camera is big fucked up. Okay. So they all went into there. So there's like one more I need to find. Uh, he might be behind this giant explosive wall. You know, that might be possible. Uh, he's not. Did any of my Gadgetbots just die? One of them just died. Ah, you fucking assholes. I have to go back and get him again. Where do you respawn? That's a good fucking question. I don't know, man. He's somewhere out in the world. I need to find another Gadgetbot that I had completely passed over. I'm like, I don't... Oh, there he is. Okay. Well, you stay there, little Jimmy. I need to go find your brothers. One of your many brothers died along the way. Okay, follow. Jackass, let's go. Jackass, let's fucking go. There we go. Alright, everybody follow. Except for don't follow, I guess. Why is this, like, one push? Like, this one piston? Look like it's coming out of the ground. <laughs> Very good level design. Alright, come on, let's go. Come on, we're all going into the hoop. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go. There we go. You actually have to do enter to make them go into the teleporter. Like, this is just boring, dude. Anyway, what's up with this place? What do I do next? Ooh, I like boots. <laughs> I like boots. <laughs> How did he store him inside himself? These metal are a device designed for climbing special metal surfaces. However, your feet appear to be too small to equip them. <laughs> man, you don't have to put down my man Clank like that for a small feet syndrome. You know, not everybody's got, like, fucking Bigfoot syndrome, you know? Maybe it's not a good idea to be Bigfoot. I don't really have that big of feet either. <laughs> I don't have big feet, and I'm just start crying about it. Is there anything else to do in here, or is it... I guess not. <laughs> they still have the the screenshots of those worlds. Very nice. All right. Um, was there a point in this area, or um, are we supposed to do something? I am very confused. What do I? What was? What must I do now? I do not want to retreat backwards. Let's see, is that all I can do? Traverse the wilderness. Explore as Ratchet. So, I think I need to tra traverse the wilderness, I guess. Wherever the fuck the wilderness is. Um, oh, platform. Oh, okay, well. Now I'm back down here with Ratchet. I should probably jump back up, though. Because it looked like there was a fucking, uh, an info bot. So, I think I can go that way. Hopefully. <laughs> Yay, more gadget bots. I'm so fucking happy. I fucking jizz when I see them. Especially when there is a minefield that I must drag all the gadget bots through. <laughs> this seems like a good idea. Horribly good, in fact. Alright. Well, we just avoid where the black spots are. That's where the bombs are gonna go. Theoretically. Um. Okay, um... Everybody run! You sick little bastards! We gotta go get your brother, Harvey. <laughs> Steve Harvey, to be more exact. Um, let's, like, not touch them. Where am I taking these guys? Am I taking them to fucking Taco Bell at this point? Over that way, okay. I mean, I was able to get through there without much worry, I guess. I think I got all the guys. All the guys. 
Ooh, now this. Wait, no, I've got six. Okay. Um. Ooh, there's like a there's like a laser beam coming our way. Okay, y'all, you stay here. I'm gonna say it like I'm from the south. I'm like, y'all need to stay here. Anyway, I need to figure out how to get them, navigate them through this like death trap. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see, so I just need to navigate them through there. So the path would be what leads me up here. So I'd have to go like through here and then bring them all the way around and all the way through there to then bring them all the way through here, go through there. And then where do I go from here? <laughs> I'm like, um, go all the way around okay at least I know the path that we need to take now god this is gonna be complicated I tell you especially with these fucking yellow lasers trying to kill my little dudes at the same time it's like um this is not kosher where are all my dudes wait I'm missing a couple guys get the fuck over here my dude Let's go. Fat ass. Let's go. <laughs> I guess he just got stuck and then just decided that he didn't want to live anymore. And he was just like, nah, there's no point in existence. I think when they get stuck around edges, they decide that they no longer can move. Whoo! <laughs> Barely dodged it. Okay. So I need to take you guys... All the way up there. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. Don't get lost. Don't get lost on your way to Dibney Land. Dibney Land will not be very happy if you get lost inside the park. Um, let's go. Come on. How do we? How many do we still have? We have six still. Okay, good. <laughs> I do not want to have to do this again for you jackasses. All right. I don't want to have to do this shit again, so we're, we're doing it now. We're doing it live. Let's see. Man. You know, even though we're walking over a bunch of toxic waste, it's very calming, this planet. <laughs> it feels very calming. I'm just like, hmm. hmm. I, feel, I, feel, I feel at peace as I move these little fucks along. And then I don't feel at peace anymore. I feel no peace. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I can't kill uh, crabs. I need at least three guys to kill a crab. And don't let them kill them. Ah, shit. God damn it. My little dudes are dying. It's like an infinite swell of these guys are coming to kill me. Okay, get them. Get them. Get them. There we go. So now I just need to get you shits to follow me again. Follow me. Let's see, how many do I got? Okay, I've got three, four. I don't know when I got the fourth one, but okay. I am A-OK -okay with this information. There we go. Man, I got a shit ton of gadget pods. I've got an army for myself. Let's see, so I've got like seven now? Um, how many are you fuckers? How many children do I have? I have seven children. Thank God. I mean, they do look almost exactly like Clank. It's kind of weird because at the beginning cutscene of the entire game, it was kind of put forth that, like, Clank was like a malfunction from the machine. So it's, like, it's kind of odd that, like, the malfunction had, like, you know, specifically made robots for himself to use on a bunch of different planets. Like, why are there so many little robots that are only, like you know, compatible with Clank, it wouldn't seem like they would ever work with, like, the big version of Clank. So it's like, why would that work anyway? <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know if there's, like, an in-universe reason for why, like, Clank can actually use gadget bots or why gadget bots exist. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if there is. I wonder if, like, there are other versions of Clank. Like, there are smaller versions, but it was just... Happened to be that the bigger version had made a smaller version by accident. I don't know.
Oh no. Better not let Ratchet see this one. Why not? We got Infobot for Planet Pokitaro. I don't know what that is, but it must be where all Pokemon exist. We gotta go get the Pokemon! Oh shit! Even though Ratchet is. her <laughs> fucking Clank is so slow, I can barely manage existence. Alrighty then. I've got shit for you, Ratchet. Oh, in the back. I didn't know our ship had like a back compartment. Hey! You giving me these or not? They are magnetic. I appear to be stuck to them. Oh. <laughs> I agree. What do you have in there? Gears, metal filings, dust. You know what I mean. What is it? I will show you this, but you must promise to stay focused on our emissions. Is it something about Quark? Cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and tar pits are full of tar. But here at Joe Y Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get a free O2 mask to explore our warm waters. The benign marine life will welcome you to the big blue world uh. under the sea. Uh, you can also use our complimentary flippers to partake in speed swimming. <laughs> so come to Joe Y Resort and leave your world and your troubles behind. July Resort, Pokitaru. I knew it. Oh, come on. Switch off your nerd circuits and have some fun. Look, we'll go just long enough to pick up the O2 mask. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Yeah, and maybe the salt water will rust your mouth shut. <laughs> God damn. You guys need to stop fucking stabbing each other. We need to save this goddamn world. Or multiple worlds, to be more exact. <laughs> I always just say we gotta save the world. It's like, well, there's multiple worlds, dude. Multiple different planets. Well, it's like, well, I'll save the one that I'm most interested in. Which I guess is, like, none of them. But, you know. But, you know. That's all you gotta say. Anyway, Planet Pokitaru. It's a weird name. But this place actually looks nice. Like you'd kind of want to live here every now and again. Only every now and again, though. Yes, close the dome. Alright, I want to see, before we end the episode, I want to go ahead and see if there's any new weapons. And there is. I got some great bargains Jesus, there's so many things. So we can get the Visibomb gun, which is actually super useful. I'll tell you that. This thing is super useful because it acts like a like a heat-seeking missile that you control. So it's, it's kind of a weird thing, but it's nice. I got anyway, for this you thing think. we can't really use anymore because... The one glitch it's used for is to get to the racetrack to go ahead and, you know, get more money. Uh, but, you know, I can still have it anyway, I guess. It looks like a squirt gun <laughs> for your hand. Either way, we're probably going to end the episode here. So, next time on Ratchet and Clank, we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, go swimming. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including... The Disciples of Epsilon, Valric, Amber, and Phoenix. The Epsilon Sage, Spirit Rosewolf. Without you all, this channel wouldn't stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time.